This morning, as officials try to piece together why a Minnesota mom would go missing, we are learning new details about the father of her two children. Maddie Kingsbury vanished two weeks ago, police calling her disappearance suspicious. In Winona, thousands have showed up to search for her. The leads that are coming in is unbelievable. We are actually getting hundreds of them. Um, we have a lot of uh, information that we're trying to process right now. Adam Fravel, who has a five-year-old daughter and a two-year-old son with Kingsbury, missing in that search. Fravel was recently served with a protective order. Social workers placing a 72-hour hold on Maddie's children. In the document, police say Maddie is considered an endangered missing person and that when they arrived at the home, he became non-cooperative, taking one of the children in the house and locking the door while shouting expletives, eventually complying. The document also states that he does not have custodial rights. It's clear that this case, I think, is all tied to the custody and control of these children. If Maddie is gone, he would ultimately at some point, in his mind at least, have full custody of his children. Fravel has denied any involvement in Kingsbury's disappearance, writing in a statement this week, I want the mother of my five-year-old and two-year-old to be found and brought home safely. I want that more than anything. According to the police timeline, Kingsbury and Fravel dropped their kids off at daycare shortly after 8 a.m. on March 31st and then returned home. Fravel saying he left the house in her dark blue Chrysler minivan around 10 a.m. When he returned, she was not there. Maddie's sister now telling ABC News that the two lived together, but they were no longer in a relationship and that Maddie was looking for a new place to live. We love her and um, we're not going to stop. We're not going to let her become a statistic. Police say they are now processing all the evidence for clues, including the minivan, Maddie's home, and the jacket she was wearing that morning. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.